From being able to remotely start your car, start your workout once you get to the gym without adjusting anything in the settings, and once you're home, you can unlock your deadbolt. The action button that's found on the Apple Watch Ultra is a powerful tool. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and actually show you some of my favorite ones, as well as show you how you could create some of your very own, because I have to admit, the shortcut app, can be extremely overwhelming and in this video i'm going to simplify it as much as possible so you could get on it and create some amazing shortcuts that you have access to right here on your wrists let's get started now i do want to show you a website real quick that we are going to feature once in a while it's called shortcutgallery.com i'll have a link in the description down below but this website is really amazing because if you could think of some shortcuts that you come to mind like the capability to adjust your brightness display on here they have a lot of pre-made shortcuts right here that you can literally just click on and just download. I'm going to go ahead and show you some of the feature ones too. So one of my favorite ones is the headphones on. So whenever you have to put on like a pair of AirPods on, it would go on our Apple Watch and go into your settings and scroll down until you find action button. Make sure the action is the Siri shortcut that's selected and on the shortcut menu, if we go ahead and select headphones on, now whenever we press this action button, it immediately connects us to the AirPods Max to the Apple Watch because now if you go in Control Center and go in here, it's already automatically check marked. This method is much easier to connect your AirPods to your Apple Watch than having to actually go in AirPlay and actually select them from here because it's sometimes buggy based off my experience. But this is a one time push button and in no time it just con it connects your AirPods to your Apple Watch. Super convenient and nifty. Shortcut will also be in the description down below for you guys. What I like to do is just go into the all shortcut section, long hold on the shortcut tap edit and go ahead where it says set playback destination to blank select here and make sure you click on the correct earbuds or airpods they also work on third parties even speakers too and just select it from here and now you're good to go and now you can just run this command and you can have it on your iphone and which will let these connect to our iphone instantly and the apple watch of course if you hit the action button how amazing is that another cool nifty one is share wi-fi because if we go on our apple watch and select on shortcut and so if we click on share wi-fi now whenever you tap on here the qr code is right there and available for your friends to quickly scan and connect to the wi-fi network that your devices are connected to but now let's say there's a shortcut that's not available on that shortcut gallery website it's featuring and you like to create some. There's a couple things I want to show you before we actually go into creating some. Because on the main like shortcut Siri page right here, if you tap on shortcuts and go back to the main menu right here, the apps you see listed right here are the ones that already have Siri shortcut support. As for example, if we could click on Tesla, I have the capability to dedicate that to unlock my Tesla, enable sentry mode, and much more as you scroll down. And those work really well and all. You can literally just click on add a home page right here and could go above and beyond and even create like modified widgets. Or you could tap add the shortcut. And then unlock, just make sure to add the vehicle. Add done. And we go all shortcuts. We'll find it right here as soon as we search for it. And now we can just go on our Apple Watch and add it to our shortcut action button just like that. But we're not going to go ahead and do that. What I want to go ahead and show you is cool things like if I go back on my Apple Watch and I select choose menu, one that I recently created. And if I tap the action button, it gives me the capability to quickly record a voice memo, go to my garage, on my queue, start a workout, or even control third-party cars that don't have the capability to fully use the Siri shortcut app right now as I can remote start my pickup truck from here if I really want to. And to do this, it's extraordinarily easy. As I'm gonna go ahead and click on all shortcuts, tap the plus icon, and where it says add action, tap on here, and I like to enter menu. And click on choose from menu. Here you create as many different topics as you like. So number one, let's say I wanted to open up an app. So on the little search, search bar right here, just type in open app, just like so. And you're gonna click and drag it to number one. Keep in mind, you can rename these. So if I want this to be my garage opener, which is my queue is the app that I use for that. We go ahead and name it. And now it's gonna show up right there. And now on the app, 
go ahead and search up the app that you like to use. In my case, I'm using MyQ. So now when I tap on MyQ, it's gonna allow me to use that app. Now for app number two, I wanted to connect to my Ford, my vehicle. And at the time making this video, it does not support Siri shortcuts. So I gotta do it manually. So I just type in open app and click and drag it onto the Ford list and tap on the app, search up that app, just like that. And now for number two, I wanted to just start my elliptical workout. And now instead of typing up workout app, cause it doesn't exist on a shortcut, just type in workout. And where it says start workout, click on this, click and drag it to the workout section. You'll see it automatically links and start outdoor run. I want to switch this to something else. So I like to work out and warm up once I get into the gym during the elliptical. So look for elliptical, select it, and you can add it to stop automatically if you hit, if you tap on the open goal. So like 15 minutes, all personal preference. I personally prefer open goal to just do as much as I can. And just like that, we just need a tap done. Wait a couple of seconds for it to synchronize. Okay, for some reason it's not showing up, but this is the previous one. If I hit the action button, exactly the same, but I added voicemail, but if I tap on my cue, it'll automatically launch the app where I can actually open up my garage opener right here. And if I do it again, I go have quick access to my car, as you witnessed earlier, to unlock or lock my vehicle, or even automatically start a workout once I'm at the gym. And if you like to copy this, I have a link in the description down below, but if you like, I'll get a, like a visual understanding how I was able to do all this on the app. If I long home on a shortcut and tap edit, you could view it all right here if you like to copy and get a better understanding how I was able to do this. It also helps to rename it too by long holding and tap rename, but I'm comfortable with that one. I am gonna delete the one that I recently made that's not synchronized to my app to my Apple Watch, unfortunately. But now let's go into the more complex things. Let's say you want things to be geo-locked. So as an example, once I'm at my house, I can have it to, I can have access to do a different command. And then when I'm at the gym, a simple push, I don't have to deal with that menu. The Apple Watch will automatically start my workout and etc. Because right now I do have something like that. And I have it listed right here under the action button. So if I go ahead and go on my Apple Watch and I select action button, since I'm home right now, if I tap the action button, it's actually going to take me to my garage opener. And when I'm at the gym and I hit that, it's going to start the elliptical, bypassing the need to have that menu as you saw earlier. I still think the menu is easier though, in my opinion. But if you want to do it with the GPS, you just need to do is tap the plus icon on the top portion right here. And where it says add action, add location. Now I'm not going to put my home address here, but I am going to put Universal Studio Hollywood to be my home destination. So on location, just go ahead and enter the address, select the suggested one. And now what I wanted to do is have it so launch my garage opener when I'm around my home. So what I need to do now is go into add action and we're going to go ahead and type in get distance and click on it. Now it's going to use our current location to the location that we added. And now what we need to do is drag the if right above here. And we want the distance to remain the same, but we want it less than. So on the condition, select is less than. And on numbers, this goes by mileage. So I'm just gonna use one miles. Or you could do half a mile or a quarter of a mile by doing 0.2 as an example. 2.5 to be exact, but I'm just gonna keep it as 2.2. And now we need to go ahead and add action and we want it to open an app. So just type in open app and the app that we wanted to open is my queue. Keep in mind, if you have like smart home appliances with home kit, you can also do that as well. So for demonstration purposes, I am going to put this one on right now. So if we left it like that, whenever I'm around that location, that address, it's going to automatically open my queue. But if I wanted to open up my deadbolt using home kit, I'm going to delete this and I'm going to go ahead and type in home and we're going to select control my home and then we want the scene to be the deadbolt and tap next. We're going to set it to lock so when we exit the house it will automatically lock. lock. Now let's go ahead and move the otherwise section, leave it right here 
And we're gonna go ahead and type in a new location. Drop it here. And I'm just gonna type in a random gym. So I'm typing in Gold's Gym, adding that. And we're gonna go ahead and type it, move it up to where it says otherwise. And then we're gonna type in, and then we're just gonna type in distance, get distance. And now we like this to be dragged right underneath. So current location to that location. And we need to add if, so click and drag if. By default, it should be if distance. And we want to select less than. And again, with that number. So this time I'm gonna do half of a mile. And we would like it to start a workout. So type in start workout. And we need to click and drag this to right underneath it. And now you have otherwise, so you can add more stuff if you'd like to. So, but this layout should give you a general understanding how it works. So you can allow it to do three or more commands depending on locations. But we're just gonna end it and I'm gonna tap done. And now it's saved. If we go onto our Apple Watch, I hope it imports it. It's right here in locations. So now if we tap the action button, it's not going to do anything because we're not really nearby those locations. But if I was in Disneyland, you'll see that will automatically unlock my deadbolt. And if I was at the gym, I'll start a workout. So that should give you a general understanding how to create some of these location-based action buttons. Of course, you could program it to do other things like change your watch base as well. Just search in the search bar where you add the action. Type in what you're looking for and something should pop up. If not, Google is always your friend too. Now, another good shortcut I like to at least cover, give you guys inside information about it is ChatGPT. It's much better than Siri. Definitely useful if you're trying to get information. And ChatGPT, if you download the official app, they already have a bunch of shortcuts already pre-made. So if you actually go back in this menu right here, and you tap on ChatGPT, you have the capability to just add Ask ChatGPT, start a new chat with Chat ChatGPT or start a new chat with a chat with chat chat gpt 3.5 kind of a tongue twister we like to add this to basic chat gpt you can tap on the dots right here and add shortcut and you do have the freedom to customize it a bit more because one of my favorite things i like to add is quick look right here which allows you to actually monitor the chat logs as you're talking to chat gpt so if we add done and go back to all shortcuts and we launch chat gpt you can text it things like how hot is the sun and it thinks and you can respond back and once you tap done it'll open up this quick log thing so if you need to copy and paste something you have total freedom now unfortunately chat gpt is not really able to talk to you anymore because this is now paid through which requires a paywall unfortunately but nonetheless it still is an amazing powerful tool just unfortunately, again, as you just realized, unless you get the paid subscription, ChatGPT doesn't verbally talk to you on the Apple Watch. You have to manually type it in with the keyboard. But other than that, there you guys have it. Those are some amazing shortcuts to definitely download and install on your Apple Watch Ultra. That'll definitely make your life so much easier. And yes, if you realize and you've thought about it, if you have the latest iPhone 15 Pro, you can also program this action button the exact same thing, which I'll go more in depth in a future video. Now, if you'd like to figure out more on um, how I was able to get this uh, double tap gesture to work on my Apple Watch Ultra 2, I go more into detail in this video over there, which I highly recommend watching. Thanks so much for watching.